Why am I smiling? <laughs> because. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Lights on. This next item, do you remember that crazy doll lot that Noelle bought me from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel? Hold on a minute, I gotta move this tote and it's too heavy, I need both my hands. The video looks like this. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. Literally, of all people, Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, this is her YouTube channel, knew that there was something good in this box and I have already made so much money off this box. So she sent this to me as a gift. If you wanna see what else was in the box and what she paid for it, definitely check out this unboxing. Go sub up Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger and I'll link Donatella Bottolino and her both down below. Um, again, this was sourced from Donna's YouTube channel. Wait until you see this. All right, we're back in tow E. Are you ready? <laughs> I sold this little girl right here. Yes, she's missing part of her arm. It doesn't matter. Look how beautiful her face is. She is in great condition other than she is missing part of her arm. So somebody will look on eBay for a replacement part. I'm sorry, she's not. She also has chewed on feet. I forgot. Chewed on feet. But I disclosed all of this in the listing, but her makeup on her face looks good. Her hair's a little ratty, but I sold her for $25 plus shipping. And again, this came as a gift from Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. This is another reason why if you get dolls like this, you can part them out. So if her face would have been in bad condition or something, I could have taken her hand or her arm um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking that I could buy an arm and pop it back in there and it would be fine, but I'm not 100% sure. But people will part these out. I recently sold a pair of hands to a, I forget what kind of doll it was, but I'll pop up a screenshot of that. And this is the reason why, because people get these dolls and they're missing and incomplete and then they look on eBay for the parts. So can you part things out and sell them? Yes. Can you sell damaged items? Yes. So $25 plus shipping, the person that bought this was all in for $33.05. So I pretty much live in these sweatshirts. This is my Bolo Buddies merch. I also have a shirt with the owl on it. And I have a link down below if you guys want to check it out. You can see all of my merch. But the reason I'm telling you this is because I got a notification from Teespring. That's who does my merch. That they are offering 25% off with codes FRIENDS and FANS 25. And it's good until April 17th. So if you guys have been looking to get some merch, 25% off is great. So um, that link's down below. All right, this next item sold for $11.05. The buyer was all in for $20.33, which includes tax and shipping. This is a clothing item that I have had listed for, oh my goodness, um, I, don't, I can't even tell you how long. I think it was, I think my husband and I were dating <laughs> and we're coming up on our 10 year anniversary this month actually. So, um, listed a long time. But these were from PacSun, a going out of business sale. And I literally went in and bought out multiple stores, all of their board shorts, all of their shorts. Now, some of the board shorts sold so fast. I made so much money. One of my best months ever was when I listed all of these board shorts from these going out of business sales. And um, this was, like I said, a long time ago, back when I did clothes but I still have quite a few lingering board shorts because I mean, some of them I had 50 to 75 pairs of the same type of item. So I'm still selling them. So this pair just sold for the price that I told you about and we're gonna pull them out of this tote hopefully. So when I say I'm a long tail seller, I am very, very patient. Um, I don't know if it's in this one or there might be another one. Uh, this might not be the right tote. Let me see. 
These might be the board shorts that I have left. These don't sell very often. I've had them so long. I probably, this would be something that I should refresh. So if you guys are looking for board shorts, check this out. These have um, beer pong on them, beer pong. Yeah, I think they're a size 28. Yeah, and I will say that the bigger sizes do sell quicker than the smaller sizes. Um, but I've got some Billabong. I've still got some O'Neill and some really nice swim trunks left. But again, probably had 50 to 100 of these. And I probably have, I don't know, 5 or 10 left. And they were a great seller. But I'm in the wrong tote. So let me get in the right tote here. Okay, I just found the tote. I moved them over to a small tote. So um, if you don't know, I used to do a ton of retail arbitrage. That was like my thing for many, many years. And um, I switched. So like when Fashion Bug went out of business... Fashion Bug had a lot of Fashion Bug stuff, but they also had like some Lane Bryant and Cacique and stuff like that, which I did really well with. Um, but yeah, so here's what I sold. Here's the shorts. They are a size, just to confirm, 28. I have one pair left. Um, these are really cool. Haven't sold yet, but these are Modern Amusement. So uh, that was a brand that was sold at PacSun. This is Lifetime brand. These are really cool. Uh, Wessick, maybe. So these are just some of the ones that haven't sold yet that are still available in my eBay store. And you know what? They will eventually sell. So on slow days, like today was a really slow day, I sold some items that have been listed for a while. I am okay with long tail items. I am okay with bread and butter because those items are constantly selling and that equals every day sales. No, that sounded bad. That equals having sales every day, multiple sales, okay? So that's why I'm okay with it. Everybody's different. You have to do what works for you, but I like having sales every day. So I'm okay leaving something listed for 10 years. Now, I think I revised this listing probably three years ago. Definitely needs refreshed, but you know, it is what it is. They still sold, right? And I am by no means saying that my way is the right way. It might be the lazy way, but that's how I do things. So take what I say, take what other YouTubers say, and figure out what works for you. Just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Um, somebody recently asked me about, um, it was in a recent, uh, video, it was a comment wanting to know how much they're going to sell if they list things. And I'm like, I have no idea. It depends what you're selling. It depends how many items you have listed. It depends. There's so many things that it depends on, but there's one thing that I can tell you is just keep listing Times are slow right now. Um, let me know down in the comments. Are things slow for you guys? How are sales? Now, I've had some other stuff going on that I've been working on, and I have not been listing as much on eBay. So my eBay sales, they're hurting right now. So I'm thankful for like each and every sale that I'm getting, but it's okay. Um, I'm staying caught up on my YouTube, and I'm listing when I can, and I'm just doing the best I can. So I'm happy for this sale. All right, let's go on to the next item. All right, you guys, this next item is in tote 42. I got this out of the Goodwill bins. And I just want to show you guys here. American Bubble Boy, they offer free shipping. If you guys need bubble wrap, check out my link down below. All right, so this next one is just a bread and butter sale. Oh, I got to turn on the light. Okay. The other day, these lights up here, like, quit working. And I'm like, that's odd. But now they're working again. This one's humming. Do you hear it? It's humming. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm talking about my humming light. All right, so where is tote 42? That is a good question. Tote 42. So I got this from the Goodwill bins. I took a best offer. Tote 42. I took a best offer of nine... I think or they just did a buy it now I can't remember but it came from the Goodwill bins I think I took the best offer so now we got to find it it's a little leak frog toy here it is right here in its own little bag let's get it out of that bag and I'll take that bag with me and I will reuse it 
I reuse all of the bags. It just helps me stay organized. This sold for $9 plus shipping. So anything leapfrog, I usually pick up. A lot of people pick these toys up um, for their kids, either as replacements or as um, just toys. This is a little push car that has sound. So just a bread and butter going out. Oh my goodness, I just accepted an offer. You guys are going to absolutely love this one. <laughs> Sometimes I shock myself at the stuff I sell. All right, we are going over to Plush Tote 9. Where is it? Oh, it's in one of these. I think it's right here. Now, I will tell you, this is a harder to find stuffed animal. But wait until you see it. Wait until you see it. Let me take it out of the bag for you. I dug this little cutie out of the bins. And I got to be honest with you, I didn't notice that he was missing an ear when I picked him up. And I thought to myself, I think somebody will still buy this. So I disclosed that it was damaged. And I just took a best offer of $10 for this Jelly Cat. If you don't know this brand, definitely get familiar with it. Some of them go for crazy money. I actually did a video on Jelly Cat that go for crazy money. I will pop it up so you guys can see what that looks like. Go watch that video. It's very important that you know what to look for. But even though this guy was damaged, he still sold for $10 plus shipping. So I do want to show you guys my title. It says Damaged Ear. Right there in the title. So I'm hoping the person read the title. Also, when you go into the actual listing, you can see under condition where it says used, it says one ear was cut off, sold as seen. Okay. And in my photos, let me do the second photo. This is my second photo. I show a close up of the ear. So I encourage all of you to be very, very clear when there is damage to your item. Show a picture, put it in the title, put it under the condition. The only way to add the condition here is if you are on your actual computer. You cannot do this through the app as of now. Um, hopefully in the future, that'll be something that you can add. I'm not sure if this shows up on the app, but I also have it down here. Under the item specifics, it says it again under the seller notes and um, also in my seller description. So I make sure that it is very, very clear that this item has one ear. All right, so the next two items going out are also very long tail items, items that I had multiples of. I think the one item I still have 10 left and the other one I have two left. So... Um, I picked these up at a place called Discount Fashion Warehouse and they sold tons of express items. I have a closet full of new with tags express items that need listed. If I would have updated these listings, I probably could get more for them, but they've been sitting a long time and I went ahead and took a best offer of $9 each on these. I have sold these in the past for much more. Um, I usually try to keep the market strong, but I just... I'm really trying to move the clothes out of my store. So let me show you what I sold. So I'm crunched back here. This is my wall and this is my clothing rack. I'm getting down to, I think I have two long clothing racks left and I keep just adding to them and scrunching all the clothes together. And eventually all the clothing racks will be gone and this will be all totes. Uh, I use these for shipping. So I just have these tucked back in the corner. I think I got those at a garage sale. So I am looking for an express men's shirt. And here we go. I'm looking for a size small. Now, uh, one thing to note is you can see that the tag is marked through. This is common when you buy things at discount stores. They still have the original tag, which is also going to be marked through. Um, typically, depending on what they pay for the item. Sometimes I will pull off the $29.99 $29 discount tag. For this one, they paid nine bucks for it. I'm just leaving it on. Um, that's optional, up to you. I do disclose that the um, inner label is marked through uh, to prevent store returns because that is why they do that. So I sold this shirt 
and I still have all of these left. It's a really great shirt. Um, I don't know why they're not selling. I've got this polka dot express, uh, nice button up shirt for work, where to work and whatnot. And here is another one that I sold to the same person. And it's weird because one's a size small and one is a size large. This one I also sold for $9. And you can see here it is marked through. Whoa, sorry. Is that even focusing? You can see right here it's marked through. So no big deal. Just disclose it. And um, never had an issue with anybody complaining about a tag being marked through. Um, as long as you put it in the description. I just wanted to show you my money pile again so you can feel good about yours. <laughs> I love to shop. Okay, um, where was I going with this? I forget what I was going to say. So these are back from my retail arbitrage clothing days as well. So had these a long time, but again, had probably man, maybe 50 to 100 of each of these and I've sold a ton. So these are the lingering ones, and again, I'm happy for each and every sale, so. All right, Bolo Buddies, I have a feeling that this Bolo is going to knock your socks off. Um, I can't remember where I got it, but it is in Craft Tote 3, and most of those items came from an estate sale, so I'm going to assume that they came from the estate sale, but I just, I don't know. So let's go get it. So I did have this item priced kind of high. Um, I was hoping to get a little more, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to take your $40 plus shipping. Wait until you see what it is. All right. It's hiding right there in that Ziploc bag. Anybody have any guesses? It's in the craft tote, but it's not really a craft. So I'm going to pull it out of here and I'm going to show you guys what it is. You ready for this? Trapper keepers. Not the trapper keeper but the folders from the Trapper Keepers. Three of them here, three of them. I sold these for $40 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $51.68. Who remembers the Trapper Keeper folders that had all of the little cheat sheets over here on the side? I remember these. These are from the 90s, made in the USA, and how cool is that? So I sold three Trapper Keeper folders. I think they are all the same on the inside. You can see here, made in the USA. And folders can definitely, oh, look at this one. It's nice and white and bright. I love it. Trapper Keepers can definitely, themselves can be a bolo, but you can also sell the folders for big, for big money. So $40 plus shipping on these. So I left it in the Ziploc bag to protect it from moisture. And then I sandwiched it in a, just a piece of cardboard. And then I'm going to put this into a poly mailer and ship it that way to protect the folders from getting um, damaged during shipment. I don't want them to get bent. So if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you have seen this before, but I want to show it again in case you don't know about it. Um, this is a $40 item. It is a first class shipment item. So anything usually $40 and up, I will put insurance on if it is first class. If I wanted to do that on eBay, I could use ship cover, which would be $1.70, or I could use USPS coverage and it would be $2.65. Or I can go over to Pirate Ship and I can get the same coverage for, right here it is, 75 cents. So um, definitely cheaper to get your first class insurance on Pirate Ship. Just a little Bolo Buddies tip for you. So we're back on eBay. If we decide to go with ship coverage, uh, first class package at $40, shipping insurance, it would be $6.51. If we use USPS shipping insurance, it would be $7.46. Now let's go over to Pirate Ship and see what our grand total will be if we use Pirate Ship shipping insurance. Over here on Pirate Ship, we are first class shipment six dollars and 82 cents with the 75 cent shipping for the um shipping insurance 
So definitely consider using Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is free. I use it for all of my first class package insurance. I have my eBay account linked directly to it. So when I print the label, it goes directly over to the tracking is uploaded to my eBay. So you can link the accounts. So if you want to know how to link your accounts, you go over to settings and you click on integrations and it says connect e-commerce platforms and synchronize orders. So I just clicked on that and you can see that I have my eBay and my Etsy connected. Um, it'll walk you through how to put them, integrate them. Um, I don't remember. It's been so long since I did it. But over here, you can see edit, disable, view orders, or delete. So um, if you try it and you don't like it, you just disable it. But I have been using this for, oh my goodness, I would say at least two years, maybe longer. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I still ship most of my items from eBay. But in situations like this, I definitely use pirate ship. All right, so literally just got this item right here. He's sitting right on top. He is the Snuggle Bear. Paid 50 cents for him at a thrift store and sold it for $42.75 plus shipping. It's got its original tag and it is super cute and it sold pretty fast. All right, my hair is still a little wet, but anyway, I don't care. Um, We are shipping and packing and I'm turning on a light. You ready? Uh, this item, I'm going to call it long tail. I've had it a while. I sold it for, it's in tote M. Let me flip the camera around and we'll see if we can find it. Maybe. <laughs> I took a picture of myself instead of <laughs> stopping the recording. Oh my goodness. Should I just leave that in there for giggles? All right, so this item I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents, and I sold it for um, $13 plus shipping, and it's actually, I think it's right here. It is this cute little uh, telephone, Stocking Collections, and it's pencil sharpener. It's made in Hong Kong, so it's definitely uh, vintage. So $13 plus shipping going to Hong Kong. I know somebody made a comment that they said they like watching me dig through my massive heaps of totes or it was something like that. So this one's all full of goodies. So I was hoping this little bunny was going to sell over Easter, but it didn't. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing sold. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it. Um, I'm guessing it was a bulk buy at a garage sale because that's usually what I do is I will pick up baby clothes at garage sales in big bags. There was this one sale that I bought tons and tons of baby clothes. Took me forever to get it all listed. And um, I think it might have came out of that lot. If it did, I probably have about maybe a quarter in this. And I don't even... Think, oh, it's Baby Gap. It's Baby Gap. There it is. Um, sold this on Poshmark. I sent out an offer. So after I sent out the offer and paid part of the shipping and Poshmark took their fees, I'm going to make about six bucks on this. But I have like pennies in it, but it did take a long time to sell. So um, kids close a lot of times at the end of garage sales They'll just sell you all of them and then you can just buy them all and cherry pick through them. I used to do this a lot more than I do now. It doesn't really interest me anymore. It's a lot of work. Um, but Poshmark is a great site for kids clothes and bundling kids clothes, um, like putting five to ten things together and selling them in a lot. And then people will bundle those together and then they get the discounted shipping. So um, definitely something to consider. What's nice about this is, it is a size um, uh, 18 to 24 months. So I probably didn't even put measurements in it. Anytime it's like baby clothes, I skip the measurements. So it makes it really easy. I snap a picture and it's listed. Um, other times I will pick up, um, if I'm at a garage sale and it's a lot of kids clothes that are all the same size so that I can do bundles. I will do that from time to time. The mood really has to strike me. But again, this has been listed for quite a while. All right, this next item I got at a garage sale for $1 and it was missing parts, but I still bought it and I sold it for $9 plus shipping.
Those of you that like me to dig, we're gonna dig. We're gonna dig. We are definitely gonna dig. Let's see. What can we find? Oh, is this it? I think this is it right here. You know, I thought for a buck, why not, right? It's got that pretty letter opener. It's incomplete, but hey, somebody picked this up for $9 plus shipping. And that, I'll put a little bubble wrap around it, throw it in a mailer, be good to go. Let's cover up them roots. <laughs> oh my goodness, when my hair is wet, woo! <laughs> All right, you guys, here's some more uh, Bolo Buddies birch. Uh, it comes in black also. So if you guys want to take advantage of that 25% off, it's good until the 17th, as I mentioned earlier. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. No pressure to buy merch. It's just if you're interested, uh, please. Uh, I, that They offered that coupon, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew about it in case you want to get something. But again, never, ever feel any pressure from my channel. I just appreciate all of you guys being here and watching. And um, if you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here a while, thanks so much. I appreciate all of you. And my whatnot is down below. I hope to see you all there very soon. So go down there and get your 15 free dollars with my referral link and follow me on whatnot. Thanks for watching.